Here's probably the weirdest axe I've ever seen. I just bought it at the antique store. It said it was hand forged, so pretty much homemade. So it looks like a pick axe, except it is actual axe. Wow. So it looks like two big splitting wedges joined together, but look at the weld. I mean, I don't even see the weld. Looks like just forged this way. So beautiful. The handle is original. Let's see if it's actually a good idea or not, because I'm not used to uh, axe looking like that, especially the double axe like that. Wow. Let's try it out. Definitely a lot to be getting used to, but it's hilarious. Wow, that went deep. Doesn't get stuck super easily. Oh, so that's nice. Okay, I feel like I keep missing it. It's a stubborn one. I like it how easy it is to take it out. Nice. There it is. It's hilarious. I love it. Definitely one of a kind ox. The smaller it is, the harder it is to aim. But nevertheless, it does a really good job. It splits it. Wow. Okay, there it is. One more long one. Nice. This time I didn't miss it, hit it all the way through on the side, instead of at the end I hit it on the side right here, let's see. I'm getting used to this sucks. I like it. That's cool. Okay, right now I try to just force split, but not with full power, just a small power. Just block it off one more time. Nice. Splits it. Overall, my thoughts, very awkward, very powerful, uh, hard to aim, but splits it well. So what do you guys think? Would you use splitting axe like that? And I'll probably stick with the normal ones. This one is actually surprised me. I got this in fan mail. It comes with a replacement blade and a different shaver attachment. This is a fabric shaver and that's the brand of it. And I used it, I was very skeptical and it actually works so well. Let's uh, use another one. It plugs in into the wall so it doesn't need batteries or anything, super simple but it like shaved off all the lint so well I was shocked how good it worked and pretty much what it is it has like just like a razor electric razor for like a beard or the head it has this same thing idea there's a different attachment to it, it goes like that it's unplugged so it's not on batteries and let's shave something up and see how well it does. There's a little bit of a lint over here. Let's see how it does. All I have to do is just press it on one and... Wow, that's amazing. It's shaving off so quick. There's a couple of pieces. It make it look like very new. That is cool. So I don't see any more lint. And there's a pillow that's a little bit linty. Let's see if we can fix it real quick. Wow, it actually works and all the lint goes in. Works so well. I don't have to roll the lint or like whatever those snug things. Wow. I'm keeping that. And obviously it works with this kind of material, the bed, just awesome. Look at all that lint. Wow, that's a lot. So it definitely works really well. 
got it here very unique vintage drill by Stanley this is uh, number 41Y so it's a push drill and if I spin this all the way it will pop open and all the drill bits will be inside here so it has right here like a drill bit holder with the compartments so then we attach one of these drill bits in okay it locks in you probably don't have to pull all of them out I just wanted to show you uh, what they look like I just love the mechanical mechanism on top of it it's hidden spiral and a hidden compartment so awesome okay and there goes nothing I think probably the best way to use it is this way right here and we all the way through okay one more time it's a little bit dull okay now it's going probably the easiest way to do it is this way let it unspin and look how fast it's dealing I love it and it's all the way to almost again it just holds in there boom love it so no electricity needed this right here pulls up comes off and my favorite part is like this compartment and how it's like a push to turn and it locks in tightens up love it got right here camp shower comes with a holder like this also netted so it dies out a little bit of assembly initial assembly looks like it plugs in from the bottom uh, it's going to be one shower and one pump press on that okay it's all set up it says 12 liters of fuel capacity we will fill it up and we can bring it with us to the beach, hiking, uh, whatever the activity you're doing. At the beach is really nice before you put your shoes on in a car, you can spray off your sandy feet or your equipment, like surfboard and stuff, or even just take a shower. If you keep it in the sun, obviously it's all black, it will warm up. Okay, fill it to the top. Uh, the top lid is transparent comes with the strap and couple carabiner set here for easier carrying wow there's a bucket and there's a handle like this if you want to carry it okay let's see how long this is I'm 6'7 and I have plenty of space but guess what if you want it higher just hang it on a branch tie this up and maybe like this in so it sprays it open this it will uh, refill itself and you just pump it and look at that it is filling up pressurizing now let's see how it works pressurize more not bad and if you press it this way, you can pump it, take shower, wash off your hands, it's pretty nice. Does this adjust? Nope. It's really thick. So you can pump it and wash yourself, hang it, you see. There you go. Pretty cool shower. gallons so as you can see it's hot out here oh yeah feels good just to even pull yourself full if you leave it in the Sun obviously the water will warm up there's a pressure so keep building it and take a shower let go see how long the pressure will last quite a while 
so you have a plenty of shower just uh, set it up to a tape range tighten it up when you lose pressure just keep pumping it and taking a shower that's it that's the idea pretty awesome you have still a lot of water here look at that we barely used any if i need to take it all out twist it and close it and now that initial setup is done all we have to do is just roll this up inside here and put it on the holder so it doesn't take a lot of space this side here we'll go flat and lock it so that way it's skinnier and goes in here as well probably gonna keep this open just to let it air out and then we're going to put it straight back into the folder and then zip it up highly ventilated nice magnesium fire starter let's see what we got here we have two of them so this side here the magnesium this side here the striker you want to scrape off the initial layer and it sparks really good okay let's shave off some magnesium They work really nice. There you go, you can get really nice thick shavings. There you go, and we have a magnesium burning. And as you know, magnesium burns are really, really hot. Look at that. Wow, you have a really nice long burn. Oh yeah, look how hot that is. Also, it doesn't shave off too fast so it is pretty uh, thick you see shave off a whole bunch flip it over and you know kind of put it together all the magnesium There you go, and you have a really hot magnesium right here. Wow, look at that. So this is good fire starter, magnesium flint. Ferro rod, let's see how it spark up the grass. First of all, you have a really nice long rope, so very easy to strike it. And there's a braid, so you can hold on like this. And there is a protective layer. We want to scrape that off, and then it's going to strike very nice and powerful sparks this is just a striker you don't need to shave it off you just grab dry grass or like kindling and spark at it till it get going there you go oh we lost it there you go so few different strikes and you can get it going the leaves looks like is the best to get it going at. Okay, different grass, it'll be different uh, uh, speed of uh, getting it on fire. But as you can see, we got the fire going with the regular, like a straw grass with a little bit of leaves with this sparker. There is a nice fire striker that is very comfortable look how big that is it will last you many years uh, so this braid is like a holder uh, and this side here is a striker first of all you'll have to remove this protective uh, paint and look how much spark it gives away this is so nice look at that look at this hot coals in there Wow, this is high quality sparker. And look, you, if you shave it off a little bit without sparking it, and then you spark and it's going to spark on the ground more. But you don't have to do this because this is not a magnesium flint. Look how hot that is. Got it here, uh, dry grass, just place it on it. 
and wow one strike and we got a fire going oh no we lost it let's see it kind of getting going and stops there you go third strike is the charm we got the fire very nice and powerful strike right? 